Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Shanika Owens TV. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys my amazing Walgreens haul for the week of 10-18 to 10-24. I did a total of three transactions and I took advantage of those digital perks that I did have and my haul was a huge money maker, yes free and a $32.94 money maker. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed to my channel, make sure your notification bells are on so you guys will be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And please give the video a big thumbs up and share the video and comment in the comment section if you guys choose to. But if you wanna see how my transactions turned out at Walgreens, then definitely keep watching the video. Okay guys, this is my Walgreens haul for the week of 10, 18 to 10, 24. As always, I'm recording this on Sunday and you guys will see it on Monday morning. And let me just tell you guys this, Walgreens is, it like Walgreens work for you sometimes and then sometimes it don't work. And then when you have a cashier that's a manager that like change your whole entire mood, like you just want to just leave everything, that's what happened to me today. So. I did a total of three transactions. There's not a lot going on at Walgreens, but my haul became a huge money maker. Yes, I did do the, I did have a booster, a couple of boosters that I used. I did not use all of them. I had a six off 12 or four off 15 I used, and I used the spend 20, get 5,000 points. So yes, three transaction. First transaction I did, I grabbed two of the White Castle chicken breast sliders. Those are two for eight. I grabbed three of the nice uh, storage bags. Those are buy one, get two free, and they're $2.79. And then I grabbed four of the Arizona iced teas, but I know you see more than that, but I did grab some more in, in my other transactions. Four Arizona iced teas that were two for a dollar. So my subtotal for the two White Castle, the, the four Arizonas, and the three nice storage was $12.79. I had a six off 12 digital per coupon that did not come off like Walgreens, come on now. It did come off. I also had a $5 rest reward from the um, the All Bay that I got. I had a lot of those. I think I made like four or five $5 rest reward from All Bay last week. I also had a 75 cents off White Castle digital coupon that I didn't know that was going to come off for the sliders, but it did. So my subtotal after using those coupons and rest rewards was supposed to be a dollar and four cents out of pocket and I was going to roll in a thousand points and pay four cents plus the tax. It did not go as planned. Like I said, the six off 12 did not come off. So I did email Walgreens and they did um, uh, give me back uh, 6,000 points for that digital perk not coming off because the manager did tell me that they will give me points for that to come off. I didn't know that. I only thought they gave you the points for the digital coupons not working, but for the purchase-based coupons, they also give you guys points back for that. So I did get back 6,000 points for that, but I end up paying $7.04 and rolling 5,000 points and paying $2.04 plus the taxes. Yeah, so I'll show you guys my receipt for this transaction, but uh, yeah, that was my first hiccup. So let's move on to transaction number two. Transaction number two, I picked up two of the Revlon Kiss Bombs. Those are on a promotion of buy two, get five. And they're also and they're also um 30% off. So I grabbed two of the Revlon Kiss Bombs for $349. I grabbed six of the Renews It Cones. Those are 89 cents. But I did grab six of those. And I grabbed two of the big Soleil razors. And those are buy two, get 2,000 points. And they're also buy one, get one 50% off. So the Big Soleil Razor, one was $6.99, and then one was $3.49. So my subtotal for the two Revlon Kiss Bombs, the six Renews It Cones, and the two Big Soleil Razors was $22.80. Now, on this transaction, I did add the Big Soleil Razors in uh, last minute because there isn't about a rebate for that. So my subtotal was way over the four out 15 that I was willing to use. So I had that four out 15. 
I had a $6 rush reward from last week from the tie deal. I also had that buy four, get two free coupon from today's Retail Me Not that took off one seventy eight. I had a four off big digital Soleil coupon that did not come off. Second hiccup. I also had a three dollar off big Soleil razor coupon from the ten four smart source. So I was supposed to pay um four dollars and two cents, and I was gonna roll four thousand points and pay two cents plus the taxes. It did not go as planned, guys. <laughs> So this this issue is okay. I did email Walgreens and they did give me back four thousand points for the uh, booster not coming off. So they did give me a combined total of ten thousand points, six for the first transaction and then four for the second transaction. So I did get back ten thousand points for that. But on this transaction, I end up paying eight oh two plus the tax, but I did roll five thousand points and paid three dollars and two cents plus the taxes. So. But I did get back, and my rest reward for the Revlon Kiss Bombs did not print out, so she did have to give me uh, points for that. And she had a whole, like, real stink attitude. Like, when I told her that the rest reward didn't print for the, Rev- the uh, Revlon, she went over there to check the, uh, and this is a manager, by the way. Usually, the it's a guy on Sundays when I go, and he is just so nice. But she, I, me and her clashed before. So she went to look at the Revlon Kiss Bomb, and she was like, oh, it just says 30% off. Now, you're a manager. You know that they tag these stores. You see that it says buy two, get five. I said, no, it's 30% off, but it also says buy two, get five on the tag. So she went over there again and looked, and then she came back. She was like, well, I can only give you 5,000 points. I said, okay, that's fine. Like, don't just change somebody's mood because if you don't want to be at work and you have a whole attitude, like, oh. So the rest reward didn't print for that, so she did give me 5,000 points for that. I did get back... um, 5,000 points for Hidden Beauty because I knew I only needed like some sense to hit beauty. I also got back 2,000 points for the Big Razors. I also got a rebate for Ibotta. There's a $6 rebate when you buy two of the Big Soleil and you have a day left to do that. So I got back six for the Big Soleil Razors. I also got back $2 for the Renews It Cones. So when you buy six, you get $2 back from Ibotta. And I also got the 5,000 points for the Revlon. So it makes this transaction, getting all of my points back and perks, free in a $20.98 moneymaker. Yes, it's crazy, but that's what I that's what I got back with all of these perks coming back to me. So yeah, free in a $20.98 moneymaker, getting back all those points, all those rest rewards, and a bottle of deals really made this second haul a really huge moneymaker. So I'll show you guys my receipt for that one, but I'll show you guys all my receipts at the end. So, last but not least transaction, as you guys know, I'm going to be a grandma in March. And uh, we did find out the genders of the babies. They're they're, uh, a boy and a girl. So, yeah, in March, I will have twins, and one is a boy and one is a girl. So, we're very, very excited. So, transaction number three, I took advantage of the pamper deal because I'm trying to stock up on diapers as much as I can. Pampers diapers are two for 20, and when you buy two, you get a $4 rest reward. So I also grabbed two Arizona iced teas in this transaction. So my subtotal was $21. So I had four, like I said, I had about four or five of those $5 rest rewards when I did the all made deal on the clearance items from last week. So my subtotal was $21. I used that spend 20 to get 5,000 points booster. So by all of my rest rewards equaling up to $20, I was able to just roll a dollar plus tax out of pocket but I didn't even do that. I was so irritated with how she did on my second transaction. And her whole demeanor was just, it was just a whole just mess. So I didn't even think to even roll points. I was just ready to just get out of Walgreens. So I played the dollar plus the taxes. But I did get back 5,000 points for spending the uh, $20. And I also got back the $4 rest reward from the Pampers deal. Making this haul free and an $8 moneymaker. And I forgot to mention on the Renews It deal... She did not want to enter that coupon in. She said, we can't use this coupon. So I did pull up the app and show her that the coupon, the insert coupon was the same as the manufacturer coupon. And then she was like, well, I can do it just this time. I'll give you the, uh, the take the coupon and just take off the uh, actual value of the coupon. Like, why? Like, I don't know. Why. I don't know if it's just the rain. But like I said, I did encounter an incident with her before. And it was just, she just so unpleasant. And even with the rest rewards for this last transaction, she said, oh, the coupon says you can only use two. 
Now, I'm looking at the actual retro reward, and I don't see that. Like, you guys let me know if that if it says that to you, but she said it cannot exceed the um the total amount of the actual rest rewards. And like I said, I grabbed two of the Pampers diapers and then two of the Arizona iced teas. So by her scanning two of the uh $5 rest rewards for the Pampers, she did not want to scan it for the actual Arizona iced teas, which were fillers. So I told her, like, my subtotal was just, it's still $13. Like, why can't I use the uh, two $5 rest rewards? She's like, because it exceeds the amount of the Arizona iced teas. Like, come on, I lady. Like, I'm just ready to just pay for what I um, I have and just get out of the store. And then she said in this transaction, well, I can do it this time, but you guys know that Walgreens monster every coupon that we scan, but I'll let you do it this time. Like, no, don't do me a favor. Like, if you're not going to do it, I can put the items back and go to another Walgreens where they're, they're more pleasant. Like, you didn't even have to do all that, but Walgreens is starting to be a really big issue with things are not coming off, and then she just changed my whole mood. But anywho, guys, my haul still, even though you see all of this in front of you, it was like a 20 something dollar money maker so even with all my issues it still became a money maker even though it's not busy at walgreens but yeah the revlon kiss bond rest reward is not printed for me uh so let you guys know that so let me show you guys all three of my receipts and my one rest reward and she did give me back, give me back five thousand points for the last um for the revlon so yeah guys let me show you all of my receipts number one with the four arizona iced teas and the three nice storage bags and then in the white castle burgers as you can see my six off 12 did not come off there's my 75 cents digital coupon for the white castle and my five dollar rest reward i paid 704 plus tax but i rolled 5,000 points and paid 204 plus the taxes and i didn't get anything back on this transaction but that six off of 12 did not come off and they did give me back points for that so that is the first receipt here is the second receipt as you can see, the Big Soleil, buy one, get one 50% off, and there one for $6.99, and then one for $3.49. And then there's the Revlon Kiss Bombs at 30% off at $3.49. All of the Renews It Cones, they're $0.89. Cents. And yeah, on this one, the 4 out of 15 did come off. As you can see, the big $3 off manufacturer coupon came off. My $6 rest reward from last week, tie deal, and the $178 for the Renews It Cones, buy four, get two free. And you can see the $4 off digital for the big did not come off. My subtotal was $802. I rolled 5,000 points. But I did hit beauty. So I did get back 7,000 points. I got back five for hitting beauty and then two for buying two of the big Soleil razors. So yeah. And um, for the Revlon, she did give me back 5,000 points for the Revlon. So third transaction, here is the Arizona Iced Teas and the Pamper Diapers. As you can see, she scanned all of my uh, rest rewards from last week, and my subtotal was a dollar. And I did get back the $4 rest reward for that. And I did get back 5,000 points for spending 20 get 5. So I want to explain to you guys how my haul became a money maker because I know it was a lot shared in the video. So first transaction, I paid $204 plus tax out of pocket. Second was $302 plus tax out of pocket. And the third was $1 plus tax out of pocket. So I paid $606 plus tax out of pocket. And I got back 10,000 points for the digital perks not working. 5,000 points for the Revlon. $2 for the Ibotta Renews It Rebate. $6 for the Ibotta Big Razors. 2,000 points for the big razors, 5,000 points for hidden beauty, and 5,000 points for spending 20 getting five, and a four dollar rush reward for the pamper deal. So it makes all of this free and a $32.94 money maker. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful just to point out some deals at Walgreens, even though my haul had hiccups and the manager just was so unkind i still was excited about my haul and it was a huge money maker i want to say thank you to all my new subscribers welcome to my channel guys thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and thank you to all my old subscribers as well coming back each and every week watching my videos sharing my videos liking my videos and doing all of that good jazz you guys know it is greatly appreciated and i can't thank you guys enough and i'll see you guys in the next video